Good health to all from Rexall. It's the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, presented by the makers of Rexall drug products and 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists. This is your Rexall family druggist here to say good evening and welcome from the 10,000 independent druggists who have made the word Rexall part of our own store names. You've learned to know us by the orange and blue Rexall sign on our windows, but our most important identification is that we carry the 2,000 or more drug products made with the Rexall Drug Company. In millions of American homes, these products are household words, like plenamins, for example, Rexall's famous multivitamin capsules. Just two plenamin capsules daily give you more than the daily minimum requirement of every vitamin for which such requirements have been established, plus valuable liver concentrate and iron. And it's quality like that that we family druggists are talking about when we tell you you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. And now your Rexall family druggist brings you the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Anne Whitfield, Walter Scharf and his music, yours truly, Bill Foreman, and starring Alice Faye and Phil Harris. Phil and Alice have just seen their children in their first school play. While they're waiting outside the school for Phyllis and Alice to come out, they are proudly discussing their children's talent. Oh, honey, weren't our kids great? I never saw such a terrific acting job. They were positively out of this world. They made that play. If they had the fifth... Now, easy, Father, easy. There were other children in the play, you know. Well, naturally, our kids need stooges. (laughs) I mean, every star needs a stooge. I guess you're right. It's like us. I couldn't possibly do my radio show without you. (laughs) Well, that's a fine way to talk to the man who took you when you were nothing but a movie star and in eight short years made you into a successful household drudge. That's the thanks I get for taking you from fleeting prominence into permanent obscurity. (laughs) I should think at least that you would... How do you do, Mrs. Harris? Oh, hello, Miss Miller. Uh, Phil, this is the children's teacher. Miss Miller, this is Mr. Harris. How do you do? Charm, to be sure. (laughs) You know, I've been anxious to meet you, Miss Miller. I want to uh, compliment you on the way you've been learning our kids. (laughs) Thank you, Mr. Harris. I, um... Learn them as best I can. (laughs) Yeah, well, of course, uh, my kids have an advantage over other children. You see, um, I uh, assist them every night with their homework. Oh. Well, then yous is the one what helps them with their grammar, ain't you? (laughs) Alice, Alice, we got to get our kids out of this school quick. Why? This dame just split a subjunction. (laughs) Miss Miller, I thought the play was excellent. Don't you think our children did exceptionally well? Oh, yes. I thought all the children did very well. You thought the other kids were as good as ours? Yes, I did. Oh, Cletus, you better keep away from them blackboards. The chalk dust is clouding your specs. (laughs) As good as ours. Look, teacher, I want you to know that my... Daddy, guess what? I was so good in that play, I'm going to be a movie star. They want to sign me to a contract. Wait a minute, folks. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Take it easy. What are you talking about? A talent scout from 20th Century Fox saw me in the play, and he wants to put me in pictures. He gave me this card, and he said he's coming over to see you this afternoon, and he wants me to sign a contract. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it a minute now. Let me see that card. Hey, Alice. Phyllis is on the level. This guy is a talent scout from 20th Century. Oh, ain't this wonderful? I don't know. Phyllis, does he want little Alice, too? No, he just wants me. Oh, Phil, this isn't so good. It might have an effect on little Alice. Well, why? She ain't going to begrudge your sister a picture career. She ain't no ham. We'll soon find out. There she is. Alice! 
Alice, come over here, dear. Are you calling homely little no talent me? <laughs> oh, honey, don't talk like that. I'm sorry this happened. Oh, don't fret about me, mother. I don't mind not being a movie star. I'll join the French Foreign Legion or something. <laughs> now, look, baby. You were very good in the play, too. Wasn't she, Phyllis? Yes, Mommy. In fact, I, I think she was just as good as you were. Don't you, Phyllis? Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Phyllis. You just wait a minute. I think she was just as good, too. And Alice? Now, look, baby Alice, I don't want no jealousy in this family. Now, shake your sister's hand and wish her luck. Very well. Good luck, Phyllis, dear. Thanks, Alice. I'm sorry it couldn't be you, but... Ow! Mommy, she's trying to break my hand! Oh, <laughs> let go. Shame on you, trying to hurt your sister. She's just jealous because I'm prettier. You are not. I am, too. You are not. I am, too. Hey, your father used red curlers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's telling her baby fa Wait a minute <laughs> I'm her father and I do not Now, come on, Alice Let's get home so we can be there When that talent scout comes over with the contract Hey, Philly's gonna be a big star Oh, that lucky little kid She's just chock full of beauty and talent And she gets it all from her father <laughs> Oh, Curly, that blue blood line of yours <laughs> Younger than springtime, am I? Yeah. Softer than starlight, am I? Yeah. Warmer than winter. <laughs> what do you want? I'm supposed to sing first oh, this week. Oh, okay, go ahead. And I was getting into this one so smoothly, just like Dorothy Kirsten. <laughs> An old-fashioned walk I'm just bursting with talk What a tale could be told If we went for an old-fashioned walk Let's take a stroll to the park Down a lane where it's dark And a heart that's controlled May relax on an old-fashioned walk I know a couple who seem to be miles apart There's nothing like walking and having a heart to heart I know a boy who declined Couldn't make up his mind He was wrapped up and sold Coming home from an old-fashioned walk some couples go for a buggy ride when they start caring a lot. Others will bicycle side by side out to some romantic spot. But when you haven't the suit, there's only one thing to do. Let's take an old-fashioned walk. I'm just bursting with talk. What a tale could be told if we went for an old-fashioned walk. I know a boy who declined, couldn't make up his mind. He was wrapped up and sold, coming home from an old-fashioned walk. Gee, honey, just think. Phyllis's name will be up there in lights. I can see the sign now. Little, Little Miss Marker starring Phil Harris's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> honey, she's going to be the biggest thing Phil, that... I don't want her to be in pictures. Well, that's all right if she don't want to... What? What do you mean you don't want her to be in pictures? This is her chance to be famous and make maybe, maybe, maybe $5,000 a week. She'll be rich. Oh, honey, I don't care about the money. I'd rather have Phyllis poor, but normal like other children. Well, you can have Alice. She's a poor, normal child. <laughs> I'll 
take Phyllis, the one who's rich and abnormal. <laughs> Gee, honey, this is the chance of a lifetime. She, uh-oh, that must be that talent scout now. I'll talk to him. I know how to get around these guys. How do you do, sir? It's a pleasure to meet you. Anybody can see by looking at you that you're a smart, capable, intelligent... It's me, Philip. Dull, stupid, no-talent moose. <laughs> No, it's the Cub Scout <laughs> Weak Chin Willie is here Hey, Willie, have I got news for you Phyllis is going into pictures w Why, that's wonderful I always knew she had ability Of course she has After all, uh, I'm uh, her father <laughs> Bless her for overcoming that obstacle <laughs> Obviously, the child got her talent from her mother. Alice was a great actress in pictures. Oh, thanks, Willie, but I wasn't a great actress. Oh, yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. <laughs> Willie, did you see your sister in Fallen Angel? No, I didn't. Well, I did. Let this girl talk. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad, huh? That was the only picture ever made that was turned down by television. <laughs> My child in pictures. She's too young, and that's final. But, honey, don't you see what it... Oh, well, that's probably the talent scout with the contract. What'll I tell him? Well, blame it on me. <laughs> tell him I won't sign because... Because... Well, tell him she's not really a child. She's a lot older than she looks. All right, I'll tell him. Sorry, mister, but my wife don't want to sign no picture contract because she's a lot older than she looks. <laughs> True. <laughs> She can always play character parts Maiden aunts, grandmothers All right, Frankie, all Old right. ladies, old men Gads, you're married to a versatile woman <laughs> Now, wait a minute, Remley I'm not talking about my wife She's not too old for pictures I'm talking about little Phyllis She's too old Curly, do you mind if I smell your breath? <laughs> okay, if it'll put you on your feet <laughs> Do you understand, Remy? I made a mistake. I thought you were the talent scout who's coming over to uh, sign Phyllis for pictures. Hey, do you mean it? Yeah. Little Phyllis, my <laughs> godchild, will be a movie star? Yeah. Gee, that's what I always wanted her to be. And with me handling her, she'll go places. Just think, she'll have her name up in lights. I can see the sign now. Little Miss Marker starring Frankie Remley's godchild. <laughs> Remley, I already had a sign made oh. <laughs> It ain't gonna do either of us any good You see, uh, her mother won't let Phyllis go into pictures What has she got to say about it? I've already given my permission But Frankie, don't well, you... don't stand there Get the child to the studio Get her in front of the camera Quiet on the set! <laughs> Fight! Action! Roll them! Cut! <laughs> Well, we shot that scene fast <laughs> Who's she working for, a monogram? All right <laughs> Look, Frankie, Alice don't want Phyllis to work because Well, because Phyllis is too young You're never too young to go to work You got a big investment in that kid She's been sponging off for you since the day she was born <laughs> When's she gonna start paying you back? Remley Phyllis is five years old That's what I mean How long is she going to keep stalling? <laughs> Frankie, parents don't expect kids to pay them back I paid mine back when I was a kid In cash? No, not in cash But when I was 12, I ran away from home And in appreciation, they canceled the debt <laughs> I don't owe them a dime Okay, so you don't owe them Frankie, I want Phyllis to go into pictures, but Alice absolutely refuses to let her work. Mm. Well, the government ain't gonna like this. They insist that kids go to work. That's why Congress passed that bill. What bill? The child labor law. <laughs> Make them labor while they're a child. That's the law. <laughs> you don't know nothing. 
<laughs> well, I want the kid to work, but Alice ain't gonna allow it. Well, Curly, you can't just give in to Alice like this. It ain't manly. You're right. I ain't afraid of my wife. I'm gonna sign Phyllis to that contract and I'll make Alice like it. How? I'll sign it, but I won't tell her about it. <laughs> That's telling her, Curly. Oh, you're not gonna tell her. Well, come on, let's wait outside and get this talent scout before he comes in the house. And let me handle the details. As Phyllis's agent, I'll get her a good deal. Okay. You know, Frankie... What's that? Uh, you don't know what it means to be a father. I'm proud of Phyllis. She's a beautiful kid. Yeah. The old master painter did a great job on her. The old master painter all is... All right, Curly, all right. Don't drag it out. <laughs> Put the frog to work. Phyllis, sit down a minute. Mommy wants to talk to you. Yes, Mommy. Now, look, Phyllis. I don't want you to go into pictures because, well, I'm thinking of your happiness. A star's life is not all glamour. There'll be heartaches, sacrifices, and suffering. I know, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> but one must experience all of life's emotions if one is to become a great actress. <laughs> oh, get a load of this little ham bone. <laughs> Careful what you say, Alice, or I won't make you my stand-in. Mommy, can I please kick her in the shins just once? <laughs> now, now, girl, stop it. Look, Phyllis, if you're in pictures, there are a lot of things you'll have to give up. First of all, you won't be able to go to your school. I'll be willing to suffer through that. <laughs> and there are other things. You won't have time to play with your friends. You'll have to get up early in the morning, and you'll have to go to bed very early every night. Oh, I don't mind if I... Did you say I have to go to bed early every night? Does that mean I can't see Hopalong Cassidy on television? <laughs> That's right. Then I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Thanks, Phyllis. You're a good girl. Now, all we have to do is talk your father out of it, and I think I know a way. When your daddy comes back, Phyllis, I want you to make him think this has gone to your head. Make him think that you're very impressed with your own importance. Act as though you were sweet. Remley, hmm? you know something I got to admit? It was a stroke of genius on your part. <laughs> oh, how you handled that, Clyde. Yeah. Oh, you... <laughs> You know something? This contract that I just signed for Phyllis is going to make her a star in no time. <laughs> and thanks to me, it's ironclad. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be broken. If I say so myself, I'm a pretty good agent. Now Alice will have to let her get through with it. Yeah, come on. Let's go in and tell her. Yeah, you bet. Hey, Alice. Hey, Alice, where are you? I got great news for you, honey. You're going to really love... Quiet, Phil. Not so loud or you'll awaken our little starlet. She left orders not to be disturbed. What do you mean she left orders? Wake her up, wake her I'm up. I'm not got allowed to... to do that, Phil. I... Oh, here comes our little darling now. Oh. Phyllis, I want to talk to you. Ah, uh, the calla lilies are in bloom again. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, you better look at this kid. She's got a bone in her throat. <laughs> oh, but please. Your shouting will shatter my precious little nerves, and I'll be in no condition to make my cinematic debut. <laughs> now, just a minute. You cut that out, or I'll take you across my knee and whale the daylights out of your little debut. <laughs> You so much as lay one finger on my little client who's going to pay me 10%, and I'll punch you right in the nose. You stay out of this, Remley. I'll handle my kid. Now, look, baby, just because you're going into the movies, don't let it go to your head. I want you to remain my, my own sweet little Phyllis. Father, please. The name is now Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid. 
Ingrid. Ingrid Harris? No. Ingrid LaRue. <laughs> Ingrid LaRue. I like that. <laughs> you would. It sounds like a Swede strip teaser. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the name Harris. It's good enough for me, and it's good enough. <laughs> now, look, Philip, won't do you any good to argue. Ingrid has made her mind up. Oh, and by the way, Ingrid wants you to make reservations for her on the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary? What for? She's going to Stromboli to make a picture. <laughs> oh, fine, fine. First, my name ain't good enough for her. Now the United States ain't good enough. <laughs> Look, Phyllis, you stop acting like a spoiled brat because when you go to school tomorrow, the kids... Ooh, there'll be no more of that. <laughs> oh, yes, there will. You're still going to school. But, Father, I can't now that I'm a movie star. What's that got to do with it? Does Betty Davis go to school? Does Joan Fontaine go to school? Does Charles Boyer go to school? Which reminds me, Father. Call Chuck. We must have him for lunch tomorrow. That uh... <laughs> Listen to me. No kid of mine is going to act like this. If going into pictures does this to her, I don't want no part of it. Do you mean that, Phil? I certainly do. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a precocious kid. <laughs> She ain't going into pictures. But, Curly, you signed the contract. You talked me into it, too. And now you're going to get us out of it. Now go over to that studio and get them to break that contract. You better not come back here, Goldstone. Uh, you get it well, Curly, took a lot of talking, but I finally got the studio to release Phyllis from her contract. Well, thank goodness. Mm-hmm. One thing I can't stand is having my kid act the way that Phyllis was acting. Oh, did you have any trouble making him release Phyllis, Frankie? No, no. Not the way I handled it. All I had to do was make one little concession. Well, it was worth it. What was the concession? I showed him a picture of little Alice, and they signed her up instead. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Now little Alice is going to be in pictures. Oh, Mark, now my calla lilies are in bloom again. Rally they are. I'll rally, calla lily, rally, you rally. Rally, 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 rally. Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. But first, here's your Rexall family druggist. I wonder what's the most common under-the-weather complaint in the average family. Well, I know what it is in mine. Acid indigestion and plain old sluggishness. You know, I was sure that's what you were going to say. And I'm also sure that's why so many millions of bottles of Rexall Milk of Magnesia are on hand right now in family medicine cabinets. Do you recommend Rexall Milk of Magnesia? Me and 10,000 other family druggists. You see, ma'am, the wonderful thing about Rexall Milk of Magnesia is that it's both a quick-acting antacid and a thoroughly effective yet gentle laxative. What's more, Rexall milk of magnesia is free from unpleasant earthy taste. Say, my family will be glad to know that. Then why not convince them? Believe me, ma'am, Rexall milk of magnesia is so pure, so creamy, smooth, and thoroughly mild that even a child can spot the difference. If acid indigestion or sluggishness is your family's number one complaint... And it is. Try Rexall milk of magnesia. 10,000 family druggists will tell you you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. Good health to all from Rexall. I just 
just called the studio and told them that both Alice and Phyllis are too young for pictures. And you're absolutely right, honey. I don't think so, Curly. Your kids are destined to be actresses. They are? <laughs> of course. It's incumbent upon them to carry on the glorious traditions of the theater that were started by their illustrious father. Oh, Frankie, stop it. Let him alone. <laughs> Sing me another chorus of that rondelay, Ram. <laughs> I love them lyrics. Oh, no. Now, his calla lilies are beginning to sprout. Now, rally they are. Rally. 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 This program was produced and directed by Paul Phillips. Included in today's cast was Lois Corbett. The part of Frankie Remley was played by Elliot Lewis, and Julius was played by Walter Tetley. Alice Fay appeared through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox. Don't let a simple sore throat cause discomfort without trying this for relief. At the first sign, gargle with Rexall's famous MI-31 antiseptic. Used full strength, Rexall MI-31 kills contacted germs in a few seconds. What's more... Rexall gives you a full pint of MI-31 at the same price you pay for smaller quantities of other leading brands. Ask for Rexall MI-31 wherever you see the orange and blue Rexall sign on the window. And remember, you can depend on any drug product that bears the name Rexall. <laughs> Sam Spade, then the Lunts on Theater Guild, follow immediately on NBC.